Hello and welcome to the Hobby City Theory Company. Now this is just like a really quick thing because I've literally just heard that in March next year Holby City will be finishing. I know, I was just shocked. I've been on holiday for two days and I come back to that. Like, thank you BBC. Thank you. So I, I just think I had to make a video quickly just to say that I'm quite shocked. I thought, you know, after all of the stuff it was doing reflecting COVID, it was doing quite well. But apparently it's like to show the diversity and the BBC's commitment to showing various parts of the UK. And I'm like, well, I guess that is a point considering Hobby City isn't real. I mean, the place, not the show. Obviously the show's, well, you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm quite um, shocked by that. That's not what I expected to see uh, on a Wednesday morning. But they did say that they would give um, Holby a big send-off in March next year. Like, I'm glad they're not doing it straight away. I, just, I should say that. I'm glad it's n not just like, oh, so we're stopping now. <laughs> that, I think that's quite good. But I hope that they do like a, a big, I hope they do a really big thing because, you know, with crossovers and, you know, bringing back old characters, big stories, you know, I'd quite like it if, like, the hospital exploded or something. I hope it's not just, like, um, oh, we're just stopping, but all these characters are continuing their lives. I hope they do something like, they all, well, not they all die, but they all go off and do other have other jobs. I hope there's a few deaths in there just because then it makes it more exciting and as we're never going to see them again. Yeah. So um, yeah, I also hope that they, well, I, I don't think casualties for the shig, I hope it isn't, but um, I hope like a few characters might go into that, like um, when Connie went into Holby, like, well I guess there was a four year difference between her being seen in both shows, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, I, I, I hope they do it justice, really. And I think they've got potential to do something really extravagant and memorable. You know, I hope it's a longer episode and I think I'll do more videos when we get more um, talk about it. You know, in the next, like, uh, well, it's not a year, like, nine months or however long it is. Um, so, yeah, I hope they bring back some old characters, I think that's the main thing, like, we've just had Jack Naylor leave, and I don't know if maybe that's something to do with it finishing, potentially, because she was just, like, a fan favourite, so I hope, like, she comes back, we have some other characters come back, and they just do, like, something, you know, memorable, that, you know, the fans all, all think is, like, a good send-off, and definitely, like, you know, there needs to be an event, and there needs to be some, like, stuff leading up to it as well. Um, almost like how in Casualty's 30th anniversary, they had, like, Sam Strachan be reintroduced and things like that leading up to the event. So I hope they do something like that. And I just think, you know, I do trust the BBC to do, do, do it justice. And as well, I hope that COVID is kind of stopped a bit more by this, that point, so they can have, you know big extras, um, a lot of cast come back. So yeah, I think they need to do it, you know, do like a build up, have like this next year now needs to be like, we know we're gonna end, so we need to cram it all in, in a really dramatic and entertaining way. So yeah, I will bring more news as and when we get it, but right now, Holby City will be finishing in March next year. Goodbye for now and see you soon.